you that uh, this team has gone so far and beyond uh, what I ever dreamed. Uh, it is remarkable. All of them are just uh, phenomenal. So the energy that we feel within this council uh, is beyond anything we've ever experienced in state government. But never has a group of people taken the initiative and worked as hard as this one. From the very top of state government, we have a strong commitment to this group. So if we need resources, if we need leadership, if we need legislation, if we need the governor to attend events, whatever you need, I will provide. We are that committed to this group. So I ask you to help us make this the number one state in the country for minority business owners. Thank you. Now when we talk about Oklahoma and minority economic development, when we talked about having this meeting, one thing that was important to us is as we move, you heard Sean Copeland talk about advancing us into being one of the top states in the nation. But how do we get there? Is tourism. If you know about tourism, tourism is a key driver to economic development. So if we have tourism, what is the value? Where do we get to tourism? Well, we talk about the rich history of Oklahoma. And Oklahoma has a rich history on Route 66. Route 66 actually this month celebrated its 40th year, but there's an even greater history that extends further than that. I'm proud to be here as an African-American minority business because there was a family, there was an individual, Alan Three Sr., who set the pace for minority economic development for African Americans. In fact, he opened the first um, African American owned business on Route 66 in the state of Oklahoma, and also the first gas station or filling station on Route 66 in the nation. And it reads, presented to the family of Allen Threat Sr. Threat Filling Station, established in 1915, Thank you for your historic contribution as the first established African-American owned business on Route 66 in Oklahoma. This is my family at this table. I should say a little fraction of my family at this table, but they're all entrepreneurs. Nobody sits around and expects something to be given to them. They work for it, they earn it. And that's what Grandpa was all about. And thank you again, everyone, thank you. Our goal with the council, well, as I mentioned again, is we'll continue to highlight, and we invite you to please reach out to us and our goal is to work with minority businesses and be on the road to making Oklahoma a top 10 state. Our higher purpose is to provide a uniform platform for global and national businesses to invest in Oklahoma. We're on a new path, the first of its kind in our state. We're out to attract and achieve new growth for minority businesses in Oklahoma. Because what's good for minority communities is good for Oklahoma. But there's a challenge in our way. How can we represent all stories and all cultures with simplicity and respect for one another? We overcome this challenge with a shared vision. We have a global perspective The only way we fail is if we do nothing. So let's be become something great together. Let's fix our eyes on the horizon. Let's become something bigger than what we are. Let's have a global perspective with a local purpose. Because we all share cultures, but we all have one mission.